Hi, it's Trish from Imagine e Photography here in Sydney and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, clean up a background as well as extend a blanket without using content aware because we all know content aware sometimes goes a little bit crazy especially when it comes to things like furry blankets. Now I don't normally do babies and children anymore, I mostly do women's photography but this was a very special photo shoot because my beautiful and amazing um, hair and makeup artist Alex had a baby and we did a photo shoot for her as I would for my friends. Anyway, so I will be editing this particular photo. I'm going to be cleaning up this background as well as extending this rug um, and it will look amazing and natural as always. So I'm going to open this up. Um, and I will show you how I did the other one. So you're essentially going to end up with this result. Um, but we're working on this photo. So the first thing I am going to do is clean the blanket. And the way I clean the blanket without content to wear is creating two additional layers on top of the background. So I've hit Control J twice to get my two extra layers down here. On layer one copy or the top layer here I'm going to add in a mask. Now what I'm going to do is take my black brush at 100% opacity and I'm going to simply remove the parts that I don't like of the blanket and that's where the layer underneath comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that bottom layer or that middle layer and then I'm going to move it across and what you're seeing is the blanket um, extending across. Now there's two things you can do about this arm that's coming through. Um, you can use content aware to remove it. Otherwise, what you can just do is take the image underneath, holding down the shift key, just stretch it a little bit wider like that. Okay. And then I will bring it across. And as you can see, I'm just going to bring that across a little bit more. Um, we have a perfect blanket blend, a natural looking one, um, that easily. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. Um, and this is what the layer looks underneath. So if I switch off this layer here, and you can see what it looks like underneath. What I really want to do is bring across this particular part of the blanket. Rather than stretching out this image even more or this layer underneath even more, what I'm going to do is take my marquee tool, select the part of the blanket that I want to um, move across this way. Um, and then what I do is right click and copy via layer. There we go. And then if I turn back on my top layer um, and then move, over, um, move across this particular layer, it's getting a little bit complicated, um, but as you can see, it blends rather nicely and naturally and no, no messing around with content wear. So that pretty much looks spot on on how I want the black blanket to look like. So first of all, I have my top layer, which is the layer that I'm aiming for it to look like the way that I want it to look like. Underneath, I have one layer for the left hand side. Um, underneath that I have the layer for the right hand side and of course I have my background if anything goes wrong but I'm pretty happy with that so what I can do is right click and flatten this image. The next thing I want to do is clean up this back background. Um, so I don't have the curve in my studio at the moment and I'm quite happy not working with a curve at the moment um, but I might look at ways of getting a curve. For the moment, I do have a square um, wall meeting floor and so sometimes, not always, but sometimes I have to clean it up, which is what I'm going to do here today. And the way I do this is pretty simple. I go W um, to get to my, what's this tool called? It's called the Quick Selection Tool and I select my subject. Now, what I'm going to do is just make sure I have the subject selected the way that I want. You can easily then go to mask and selection or selection and mask to fix up um, any areas that might be missing and just to fix it up and hit okay. 
All right, and then what I do is zoom out or fix the screen, and then with the selection that I have, I hit Control J, and what I've just done is made an extra layer of the selection that I've done or did. As you can see, I've got a few areas here that I'm not particularly happy with that were not captured. So what I can do is go back to my background layer, get my lasso tool, and just select the E area like this and like this. And then do a control J. And there we have it. I might need to remove those later or I can remove them now, in fact, um, with the rubber tool if I want or add a mask. And then with a black brush, because I'm working on a white mask, just remove that black away like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, essentially what I'm doing is making sure the background blends in nicely and remains the same. I'm not changing the color of the black background. I'm just cleaning it up a bit. So, yay. Alrighty. Um, and then I select the two top layers and then merge them together. Voila. And I now have field ears. Perfection. Okay, then I'm going to zoom out and go to my lasso tool. And on the background layer, what I'm going to do is select what I want to remove. I'm going to take up a big space of that because if I do a little space, then content away gets confused. Whereas if I take a more bigger space, sometimes, not all the time, it blends in the background rather nicely. I don't expect it to in this case, but let's give it a go anyway. I hit delete and enter for content aware. And as you can see, not perfection. I will change that selection by hitting J to my patch tool and simply lift that up and that should blend it in. There we go. Why not? There we go. All right. And then with my patch tool, I might clean that up a little bit more like this. All right. Yay. Happy. All right, so I just want a nice smooth blending of the background. I'm quite happy to have a, like a shadow area down the bottom here. Um, that's perfectly okay. But what you have noticed is next to the ear, it's a little bit funky. So I'm going to clone stamp that. So C, is it C? No, it's S for clone stamp. So we need. All right, so I'm going to take my stamp tool, make sure you're at 100% opacity and 100% flow. I hold down Alt. I might make that a little bit bigger. Um, and then just stamp. And because I have this layer on top, I can go over the head as much as I want there we go. because that top layer is my subject. Easy peasy. Then I do the same thing on the other side. So once again, I go to my background layer, uh, get my lasso tool, select the area I want to content to wear. And once again, I'm not expecting miracles. Hit delete and enter and I'm getting fluff and fur and rug which is not what I am aiming for. Is it content aware? Uh, okay, then I've got a J for my patch tool, lift that up. And it blends in rather nicely. And then I get my patch tool and clean up the other parts. All you have to do is select, drag and drop. And you get something like this and not surprising once again i've got the funky area next to the ear i go to my clone stamp and clone stamp across there we go all righty so i've got this little area here and then all i need to do is add a mask and then with a small black brush clean that up a little bit there we go and it is now cleaned up. Oh, hang on. Wait. <gasps> oh dear. Wait. All right. So I'm obviously, I thought it was my screen dirty. Sometimes this happens. You get these little splotches on your screen and you think it's in the photo and it's on your screen and your screen is dirty. But in this case, I was simply on the wrong layer. Now, the other thing you can do to blend this a little bit better, um, and make it less splotchy. Oh, hang on. Fix 
fix this part here. Okay, zoom. Okay. Um, yes, so what you can do is between the background layer and the subject layer, um, add in a blank layer. So Control Shift N will create an additional layer between the two. And what you do is with an eyedropper, select an area that you'd like to blend to. Um, so I like this particular color here. Then I go to my brush and at 30% opacity or thereabouts, what I will do is just paint in over it. Just to give it a little bit of a blend and get rid of some of the little shadows that are coming through. Voila. So the before and after, before and after, and before and after, before and after. So I am happy with that. That looks pretty clean. I can now flatten this and continue on with my editing. That is all. That is how you will clean a blanket. See, perfectly blended and clean up a background. Easy. Anyway, stay tuned for the next video.